Hi everyone, it's Laura here. Oh my goodness, that's been a quick week. Watch my last video and you'll get what I mean. Um, but this is a nine week countdown to Disney trip. Oh my god, single figures. Oh my god, calm. Right, so this week I thought because um, I had Disney pin mail um, and I was sticking it on my board, I thought, you know, I actually have quite a bit of a collection, not a huge collection. But maybe enough to do a little video. So today's Disney Countdown video is going to be my pin collection and also pins I plan to take to Disney. So I have two oval boards. One is more my special pins and um, my other boards more just generic pins that I'm collecting. Um, so let's go through them. So at the top of this pin board here, um, I got this one and I've kept it. It's um, the first year that they did, uh, the, what do you call it, Seasons of the Force. And I actually won this in a giveaway from Penny K, awesome YouTuber, check her out. Um, I actually traded for this pin when I went to Disneyland last uh, year. I can't remember what I traded it with. Um, but I quite liked it because it's quite a big pin um, and I thought oh he's cute um, this is one if you watched my last week's video that I actually traded for and it's Lilo on her little space cruiser and she's so cute I think I'm definitely going to start a Lilo and Stitch collection I do have um, a couple of Stitch pins already which you'll see in a minute um, but yeah I absolutely love Lilo and Stitch and we were actually watching it this morning, my little boy likes him too. And then, this is my kind of Mickey head collection that I got. Um, these were all kind of, well to be honest, the rest of the board pretty much, apart from these ones here, is like the American like mystery bags. Uh, so, I've got Mickey ears, that's like Mickey Mouse. And then I've got Buzz Lightyear. There's a stitch one there. Jack and Sally, Dalmatians and Marie, um, sorry, uh, oh and Pinocchio as well, I was about to say I swear there was another one, and there's Pinocchio there, there's still a few more uh, from that range that I can't think of off the top of my head, um, but I definitely know I want Sorcerer Mickey, um, that would be really cool to have, and Minnie, and maybe some of the Fab Five, because I don't seem to have any of them. Woody as well, uh, I can't think of anyone else, um, but yeah, we like a few more of these, I think they're super cute, so I'll obviously be looking out for them when I'm in Disney. Another collection is probably my most, it's actually a joint favourite um, mystery bag collection is these little um, Russian doll um, kind of princesses, so I've got Merida, Cinderella and uh, Rapunzel, I've got Tiana, and that's Mary Poppins. I think some people confuse her with Mulan, but that's definitely Mary Poppins because she's got her little umbrella there with a little um, parrot topper on it. Um, so I don't have very many of them, and I would definitely want some more. Obviously, just the princesses in general. Um, I can see myself having a princess collection. I kind of have a couple different princessy type of collection starting so I can see it getting bigger um, pin collecting slash trading is definitely addictive um, yeah yeah I can see myself with more of these boards um, I'm, I'm being very restrained to be honest just now with pins um, but yeah I can see me having a pin problem what you gonna do and then at the bottom, I don't think I was really into these, but the more I look at them, I absolutely love them and I would like to collect the whole set. Um, these are like cute Disney villains. So you got Mother Gothel, um, Bon Strovi, is that his name? Um, the guy from P Pinocchio, uh, Madame Mim from Sword of the Stone, you don't get much of her, so she looks crazy as hell. Um, Frollo, which is probably one of my favourite pins, along with 
of the Gothel because I love um, Pocahontas again, not much merch. Um, I definitely want the Hades one from this collection because again, love Hercules and um, there's not much Hercules merch. And uh, there's a Queen of Hearts there. Uh, yeah, I think I quite like it because they're not your average, well, apart from maybe the Queen of Hearts, they're not your average villains like that you normally get. So, yeah, I definitely think I want to collect some. So, when I'm at the park, I'm going to be kind of looking to fill some more of these kind of collections that I've got. Then on this side is the little hats. I hope you can see it, sorry. Um, so at the bottom, I've got Maleficent. Um, I've got Small World, Tiana, um, Jasmine, and Big Thunder Mountain. I absolutely love uh, these as well. Um, I don't want too many other ones of these, apart from any princess ones. And also, I really, really want the teacup one of these and I'm not sure if there was any other attraction ones of these um but yeah so not too many more of this collection um and then this here is pretty random they're all, all like princess things but they're all from different collections um this one I'll start with this one I know she's not a princess but she's over there anyway uh that is my first ever trade I bought my first ever pin two years ago at Halloween. I bought a, a two pound in the sale one. It was Hank from Finding Dory, holding Dory in a, in a flask. And I had a, a very slim knowledge of pin trading and I knew that you couldn't trade a pin that cast members already had. And clearly everyone had the same idea as me. Oh, this is a cheap pin. Let's buy this one and trade it for obviously a better pin. So every cast member had one of these pins on them. And then one of our last nights was in in um, Annette's and I noticed that the waitress didn't have one on her lanyard. So I was like, oh, oh, can I, can I trade with you? And I didn't even really, know, really look at her pins. It's just the fact that she never had a hank. Um, and I decided, oh, we'll go for Tinkerbell. Um, so it's a hidden Mickey Tinkerbell. Um, and then uh, she did then tell me that she has the hand one at home, but it's okay. Um, I think the rest of these are all hidden Mickey pins, actually. Yeah, they're all hidden Mickeys. So then we've got Snow White in a teacup, and there's little hidden Mickeys there. Uh, Tiana, this I traded for this one. Um, for the guy that was in the, the sweetie bit near the, the Emporium. I'm not joking. This pin smelled like, you know... Main Street USA for days. It was amazing. A uh, little hair and Mickey's there. Um, Belle and the little Rose and uh, Hidden Mickey there. I actually got this off of eBay. And same with the Jasmine one. It was from eBay as well. Um, I think Snow White might have been. Can't quite remember. Um, and the Hidden Mickey is just over in this corner here. So they're kind of cool, like a little hidden Mickey collection that's kind of all princesses-ish. Um, so that's this board here, which is quite bare still, but um, yeah, there's, I think that it's quite cute the way it's all kind of patching up nicely. Um, and then my second board is this one. Um, so this is more of my special pins. So, at the top, these, I'm going to have to kind of go a bit quicker because I've just seen what the time is. So, these are the years that I've been for birthdays. So, I've been for the 15th celebration, 20th and 25th. Um, over here, I'm trying to collect all the years I've been. I am missing, oh, excuse me, missing 1998, 2000. Ideally, I would like another 2012 pin because I went twice that year in 2017 and then I need to get 2018 on this year. So, so far you can see I've got 2005, 2012, 2016, 2015 there. That was when I was younger with my friend. I went and also went with my mum and sister for uh, Christmas time. This was uh, the year that uh, we got married. Uh, for our anniversary we went to Disney and 
that this is when I went to Halloween with my mom, my friend, and my sister as well. And then key pins, I still need to get Newport Bay, and then also I'll have to get the Sequoia Lodge when I go. But that's the Santa Fe and the Cheyenne. I've stayed at multiple times. Um, then when I went to Halloween, I picked up this more like Halloween -y pin just to have like, kind of more memento. Uh, that's one of those Mickey hats, so it should be on the other board. But it's kind of just a reminder that I was there for my honeymoon. And then uh, last year I was there at Christmas time with my little boy and my mum and my husband. So that's where Stitch comes from. Got this one off of eBay. I think it's amazing. It's a key move about. Um, and it's the scene of a Pirates of the Caribbean with a dog. Um, I just absolutely love that one. Um, I got this off of eBay as well. Um, and I just love it. Braised on one of my fa most favourite um, films. <coughs> <coughs> absolutely love this pin with Angus in the background. My sister got me this pin. Um, we did like Secret Santa. Um, if you watch our vlog you'll see. And she got me this pin and it just is practically perfect in every way. Which is quite nice of her to get me that pin. Disneyland Hotel last year. I saw a girl with this pin, so I was obsessed with it and traded for it. So then I realised it was part of like one of those mystery packs from America. So I did get the rest off of eBay, but I am just missing Snow White, it's a red one. So I would love to find that. If I found that in the parks when I go in nine weeks time, I will be like amazed. And then over here is kind of my characters on their lonesome kind of section. So Hansel, I got Ariel, I got Mushu. Traded for Winnie the Pooh, I thought that was a really good trade. Um, and then I got this off of eBay. I think it was my first pin I bought. And it's kind of started this whole obsession. And that's Hugo from Hunchback of Notre Dame. I freaking love him. And then I've got Mickey the chef, because well, I was a chef. And kind of taking a break from that just now. Um, so that was kind of appropriate at the time. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my board. I'm going to take to Disney to trade. I've got a couple. So these, um, I'm not going to put them all in my lanyard once, but I'm definitely taking these to trade. So I've got two Mickey ones. So it's kind of Mickey with attitude and a happy Mickey. So I've got them. Um, I have... I think this one will be quite nice. A Pluto cupcake. And I've also got a lady in a bone. Um, I've got a Yago, that's a hidden Mickey one. Uh, I've also got the Ariel's Castle. And uh, speaking of Ariel, I've got a little Ariel there. It is super cute, but I prefer the original artwork to her. And then I've got some of these hat pins. I did get a double of the Maleficent one, so she's going to be going in my trading pile. Along with these two weird ones. I'm hoping maybe a cast member that's in Discovery Land would appreciate appreciate them. So they're both these kind of mechanical, steampunk-esque ones. And then there's P Parry the Platypus. Hopefully someone that's into Phoebus and Ferb will want it because I'm not into that. Um, and then maybe someone from Florida, or who knows of the Red Bird might be into that. Uh, I got Daisy. And I also got a little Dumbo. Oh, it didn't make it there. So I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got 14 pins there that I'm going to try and attempt to trade in the five-ish days that we're there. So um, that's going to be a challenge when I'm there. Obviously I will keep you up to date on how the pin side of things are going. But they are going to be the pins at that I'm attempting to trade collections. And my pins that I've to trade. Sorry, it kind of went really quick near the end but realised the time. Um, so thank you for this week's watch and stay tuned for next week.